classification of buses okay so what, what is buses you know it is a common junction point where uh, number of uh, branches number of lines are connected together and that we call it as a bus depending upon which the two variables are specified the buses are classified into three categories so what are those two variables you'll be having four variables here in this uh, power flow analysis one is real power p second one is reactive power q third one is magnitude of voltage v and fourth one is the angle del okay voltage angle del so these are the four main parameters of this power flow analysis out of this four any two variables are specified okay so based on that specified variables we are classifying the bus into three categories so first one is a load bus okay load bus or otherwise called pq bus that means p and q are specified p and q are given for that particular bus then that type of bus we call it as load bus the bus is called load bus when real and reactive components of the powers are specified for a bus and voltage and del are to be obtained simple definition okay then second one generator bus second one is here generator bus or pv bus or voltage control bus in some cases they will give as a voltage control bus so generator bus or pv bus pv bus means real power and voltage magnitude are specified okay so then we call that as generator bus the bus is called generator bus when real power and magnitude of bus voltages are specified for the bus and q and del are to be obtained then third one is a slack bus slack bus or it is a reference bus or a swing bus the bus is called slack bus or reference bus or swing bus if the magnitude and phase of bus voltages are specified for the bus that is v and del are specified and uh, the slack bus is a reference bus for load flow solution usually one of the generator bus is selected as slack bus so here in this slack bus v and del are specified we need to find p and q and uh, in the slack bus one, one important thing is this one the slack bus is a reference bus for load flow solution and uh, it is not given directly but we need to select any one generator bus okay so generator and load is available okay in a single line diagram also generator will be there and load will be there you will be having number of generators you can take uh, any one of the generator bus as a slack bus okay so these are the three buses available here and based on the quantities you can uh, represent like this so here bus type is load bus or we call it as a pq bus quantity specified is p and q are specified and the quantities to be obtained pq is given we need to find this voltage magnitude and the del value that is quantities to be obtained and generator bus we call it as a pv bus p and voltage magnitude is given and the quantities to be obtained are q and del then slack bus voltage magnitude and del value are specified and the quantities to be obtained are real power and reactive power p and q okay